Hey everybody, and welcome to the end of day number 11 of the barn house renovation. And so uh, John left us, we went through day number 10, and we were able to get a lot done, so let me show you what that looks like. As you can see, I just walked up some stairs, which is very exciting, because we didn't have access uh, to uh, that lower level in there. We were just using a ladder to climb up and down off this platform we created. But we've I've been able to get down here, uh, put this wall in that's supporting the rest and the remainder of the stairs, and then we make our turn, and this is what it's going to be like as we come into our lower area or the first bay inside the barn. And so what we had talked about needing to get done in order for this to all happen here was that this wall had to get built and then that wall is built and supporting the stairs. Now I left it open here on the bottom because we're going to kind of use this as the green room. This is going to be almost a mud room for us but more of a workspace since we have the artist loft upstairs and then we're going to have a, a green area down here. So we're going to have the door as you come in. We're going to have some shoe cubbies in here so that's all going to be tucked back and then this is going to be a soft solid wall that goes all the way up and that's going to be for two reasons so that solid wall is really going to cut down breezes particularly in the winter time as that door opens it's not going to just blow right up there and we're going to lose all of our heat and then the second thing is it's just going to make it feel uh well a lot more uh uh, clutter free and uh, dust free hopefully because this is still a working barn now the other thing we had talked about doing was uh, getting some columns here or some 4x4 four four posts and so those are going all the way up and they're supporting where we cut in and we cut in against these floor joists so that we'd have the headroom as we're walking up the stairs and not banging our heads now that these are in place and we've got our cross pieces there well we're going to drywall that but we're not going to drywall all of this so that as you come down it's going to be enclosed and then it's going to start to open up but this isn't going to be a spindled railing this is going to be a solid railing at about 36 inches on the same angle as the floor and then we'll just have a handrail on it so it'll be open here and it'll be open there and the reason we're doing that is if you're coming from what would be a really enclosed area and then it slowly opens up and then you can look left and right and it's not going to feel so claustrophobic at that point so now that we have access to the stairs and we've got that cutout in well John's going to come back this weekend, and what we're going to do is we're going to finish the stairs. So we've cut all of this back here, uh, so the floor joists are resting on that, uh, well, uh, three-beam header that we put in. And now we're going to continue moving the stairs and then bringing it up into the artist loft here. And so that's really the next big step. And we don't have as many steps getting to the artist loft as we do going down into uh, what, what I'm calling the green room. And so in order to kind of get up and in, we're going to go up four steps, and then it's just going to be one turn and into the room. And then once we're up there, we're going to have a uh, knee wall here, and it's just going to kind of wrap around the whole area, and then it'll stay open on the top. So this is going to still try to make it feel nice and airy, um, well, as uh, this becomes a new workspace for us, and sort of an extension of the farmhouse, it's <coughs> extension of the farmhouse ex itself, excuse me. So that's it. Uh, end of day number 11. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing John come back in a couple of days. And in the meantime, I'm just going to work on just getting a lot of the framing and the structure in here and doing my 16 inches on center so that the drywall is going to be ready to go in. And then uh, when he gets here, we're going to do, uh, well, that uh, quarter rounder and then into the artist loft. So thanks for checking out. Um, I'll post again as soon as I can and I uh, hope you're all enjoying the progress haven't got too many comments on this one yet but if you uh, do have any questions about what we're doing here uh, please leave it in the comments section and if you want to check out more uh, just go to the coloredspots.com website um, and yeah leave a like subscribe goes a long way